Hey guys, so I'm starting the day off with a mask. Hello. Today I am so excited. You cannot see any expression on my face, by the way. So sorry about that. <laughs> sorry if I'm scaring you. Today is my pre-op breast augmentation appointment. Today is Mar is it March or May? It's May. It's May 31st, I think. We're going to go with that. It's my pre-op breast augmentation appointment, and I'm just going to bring you guys along with me to um, just go with me to the appointment and talk to the doctor. You guys are going to see that. Hopefully, he lets me record in there, because if not, then this will be a fail, <laughs> but I love how I'm laughing and there's like no expression on my face. That's how tight this is. Oh my God, there's a lizard on the wall. It's so gross. Ah! But hopefully he lets me record and I'll be showing you guys everything that goes on today. So I'm making the largest effort to do this for you guys. So, um, yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit. Alright guys, now we're officially walking in. I'm so nervous. Hi Chrissy. Hi. Say hi to my so uh, hungover. filmmaker today. She's going to be behind the camera. Hi everybody. Yes, I'm looking looking very fabulous and snatched. Thank you. We love a snatch sister. We love a snatch sister. A snatch <laughs> sister. Crazy turn of events. Christine is going to be doing her appointment with me. Pre-op. Our surgeries are scheduled for the same day too. Yeah, it's insane how like everything's just been like naturally just coming together for us you guys. I know and it's like, like I'm just so anything. it's so like cool because now we don't have to like come back again <laughs> and like my mom's not going to kill us for using the car again <laughs> so yes honey. yes I think that growth yeah I'm super excited I'm, so, I'm nervous she used to be a chicken head your hair used to be like right here I know you see me like at least <laughs> right there now it's like that chemical hello. burn <laughs> <laughs> I have my natural hair out today yeah. But, like, no, no, my no, no, no. hair is, like, sweated out a little bit. But, like, I'll get it together later. Don't come for me in the comments. Whatever. But, yeah, I'm so excited. We'll see you guys in the room. Okay, so now I'm going to be filling out all this paper work in regards to, like, anesthesia, medication, and just all this info. I can't even turn the page. Yeah, they're just giving me breast post-operative instruction. And yeah, so all that good stuff. It's time to go in. Okay, let's go. Let's go. I'm so scared. Okay, so I'm in my bra. Sorry. Now we have to put on these little gurney things. Come on, get hey, the tour. Get the tour. <laughs> yes, work it. Work it. Who is she? <laughs> She's fab. She's drab. And most of all, she's trans. <laughs> so after 500,000 hours of trying to get a fucking thumbnail, we got one. We gotta get, make sure that this spaghetti is in the frame nicely. Put it up on the hill. Okay, okay and we took a lot out just to make... How many thumbnails? <laughs> um, like seven. All right. So, hey, everyone. How are y'all doing? Because I want to know. <laughs> Is you okay? Is you good? Because I wanted to know. So, yeah. This is homemade spaghetti. It's really good. Instead of, like, it just being, like, regular spaghetti and meatballs, it's, um sausage and little it's beef inside too but not like meatball but just like beef inside it's so good it's so yummy who made this your mom mm, my auntie mm. Mm. get more in the frame mm -hmm. there you go I gotta be close act like you love me today you know I try to <laughs> peasant so where do we leave off after leaving Dr. Sinclair. So you guys so, saw yes. us walking into mm -hmm. Dr. Sinclair's, if Office. you guys are watching the beginning of the video. Mm -hmm. We asked him if we could film. Oh my God, there's a bee. <laughs> no, go away. Oh my God. You're not wanted here. So we asked him if we could film, and he said, yes, we can film, but like the actual surgery, not the actual surgery happening, 
but like the surgery day and like him talking about what he's gonna do and all etc and he wants it to be done professionally because he is a professional he's one of the best of the best today's pre-op was amazing um, so we finally figured out what um, um, kind of material that goes in, will be going inside of our chest um, the insurance, um, LA Care slash Medi-Cal, it covers for saline implants, which is like basically salt water. So, um, you know, say for example, one of the implants were to rupture, it would just like dissolve into our bodies and no harm would be done. It's the more safe side of breast, um, implants. Let me move it to the middle more. Yeah. So yeah, I'm excited. Yeah, we got our time too. So her mm -hmm. surgery is gonna be on June 11th uh -huh. at 7:30. Exactly two weeks. And then from I'm now. the next patient after her, and my surgery my surgery is on the same day oh, at 9:30. Mm -hmm. So I'm the so it's like boom boom. So it's yeah. perfect. So Christine is gonna be able to film like Dr. Sinclair talking to me, but. I'm gonna have someone like film for her. Probably Jerry. I'll have Jerry do it for okay, you. Okay, thank you. Since you could be doing mine, Jerry will do yours. Okay, cool. And since also you heard how Dr. Sinclair wants you to do it. Yeah. So just make sure that you do exactly what he said. Okay. Okay. So That's cool. yeah, everything went great today. Um, I finally fi finalized a size that I want. I do not want high profile because I want to be a model. So I'm getting. Um, medium profile which is like more natural like kind of like teardrop shape-ish and we're gonna go with saline implants and it's gonna be 300 cc's so since um you know I'm really tall and my body is um more on the petite side um he said 300 cc's would be an, a perfect amount and um they would sit nicely he said I would still look really good in a bikini he said they're gonna look more natural and he said you know, we were talking about it, and I, we were all talking about, um, you know, girls really have boob greed. It's called boob greed when, like, they want really large tits, and, like, they want going out club tits. They want their boobs to, like, just be out there to make up for what they didn't have. Mm -hmm. And so, um, you know, we were really um, discussing that, and he was saying, yeah, you guys have more classy. And you know, he said, those boobs are good for when you're like ages from 23 to like 25. And then like after that, it's like, who wants bosoms that large and just out there, you know, like hooker-ish. Uh, he didn't say that, but, that's, no, what, that's, but what, that's what I'm saying. But um, yeah, I think the size that I want is the perfect size. He said it's not even all about the size. No, it's just it's all not. about the, the body and how it would look on you. Right. Mm -hmm. So he told me, so after her, her like conversation with Dr. Sinclair, mm -hmm. it was my turn and it went Talk great. Louder. It went great. Honestly, like mm -hmm. um, the size that I'm getting is the exact same amount, 300 cc's, mm -hmm. because my body is very small. I told him that I want to become a professional dancer and a runway model myself. And I do not want to have very large tits, especially, you know, as a dancer, I don't want my tits flopping everywhere, you know, because, you know, it's not, it's not attractive when your tits are, are the thing that men are looking at while you're dancing, you know, so. Uh, I mean, I don't care if guys stare at my titties, I mean, but like, I, I don't want them to be I like, care, because like, as a professional dancer, you know, I want people to recognize my dancing, not my titties. I ain't getting them to keep them in my shirt. <laughs> <laughs> she out. She out. I'm not, oh, this is perfect. The sun went away. Thank you. We're trying to film here, thanks. I'm really excited to get my boobs done, honestly. Like, I, are you excited? Because I'm, I'm very excited. I'm so excited. Do you know like, how long I, we waited for to get our boobs okay, done? honestly, like, okay, so the rule is, like, if you've had an endocrinologist, they'll tell you, like, okay, you have to... Ooh, <laughs> <laughs> don't get it in here. It's nasty. Eat over the plate, girl. Use your manners. Um, do you want some chicken, too? No, I'm okay. I have okay. some sauce. <laughs> Okay. Let's you see. know you want some. Let's get some chicken okay. up in our bodies. Girl, you're like flipping it, this spaghetti everywhere. Okay. So, messy hoe. Um, what else? Hi, darling. What else did I want to talk about? I was saying something, but you like messed me up. Forget about Dr. Sinclair's um, titties. 
We're talking about titties. What are we talking about? <laughs> Oh my dear lord. Oh my god. This bag is the devil. It's that flop, you guys. It said, fuck your video. Hold on a second, you guys. We gotta get this set up correct again. This trash bag attacked us. That's the second time I've been attacked in my first mukbang. If you guys seen, <laughs> I'll link the first mukbang in the description box. Um, I got attacked by a plate. Not a plate. Was it a plate? It was like the little container that the wings were in. And it flew and hit me in the face. Yeah, it's like, it, it was a container, the wing stop container. Mm hmm But, um, yeah, so, overall, I'm excited. I can't wait. Oh, we're talking about how long we waited. Oh. So, when you're on hormones, you have to wait about two years for boob development so that they can actually put the implant in your chest and for it to have a more natural result. Because if you were to just stick an implant in your chest and you have no breast, you know, fat on your chest at all, then it would just look like an apple is on your chest and it would look not good. And you probably will be in so much pain. But um, yeah, so there's a reason why you have to wait as long as you do. And you know, I've been waiting for two and almost three years. And then I had to wait a little extra when we actually applied ourselves to get them because there was insurance problems. Oh, and I also, there's a lot of people asking how we got our insurance to cover um, our surgery. That's kind of hard. That's kind of hard to explain because like it's hard to explain. Because it's I'm not like we didn't do anything to them. You know, it just we filled our, our paperwork. Like they asked us to, they told us to come into certain places to do some paperwork. We did that too, and so they're, they're, that's all we did. You know, so they, I'm we didn't gonna, talk to anybody like I'm just that. gonna like you know break it down as like best that I can. Um, so basically, the doctor that I go to is in Los Angeles. So if you live in Los Angeles and you're watching this video, which I know a lot of you do live in Los Angeles, um, listen carefully. So the office that I go to is St. John's Health and Wellness. Um, I've talked about this before. Um, they have an actual transgender program. So what you do is you take whatever insurance you have, and if you don't have insurance, they will help you get insurance. So I'll put you under LA Care, and take care of all of the paperwork and things for you. All you have to do is show up for your therapies, show up for your appointments, get your blood work done, and all of those things. You finish your water? Yeah. I'll and so water. the insurance, they do they basically do all of that paperwork for you. And then you'll there'll be a lot of wait time. So basically go to your doctor, you know. If you don't have insurance, you know, get insurance, I guess. I know. I don't know. It's kind of hard to tell you guys if you don't have insurance. It's honestly not that hard. Like, I, it's really simple if you just want to, like, get your, I don't know. I, it's, it's exactly how she explained it. It's super mm -hmm. simple. When people mm -hmm. ask questions like that, they make it sound like we speak to a lot. We went through, like, a case well, manager and all these, you know, like. Yeah, see, we didn't have to do any of that. It just, it just, honestly, it really, really, really depends on the state you live in or country and um, it depends on your doctor um, but insurance for trans people because it is considered like a, a, a mental illness like they will get your insurance to cover you if you really really want those surgeries um, and by that, she's talking. We're, she's talking about gender dysphoria being the mental illness, mm -hmm. not like being transgender isn't a mental illness. It's just gender dysphoria, not feeling comfortable in your in your assigned gender. That's what that basically is. So, like, I know that Kaiser covers transgender surgeries. Yes, they do. Yeah. I know that LA Care covers transgender surgeries, and I also know that Medi-Cal slash Medicare covers transgender surgeries. So, um, and honestly, hi. Hey guys. How are you? How are you doing? Good. How's the water? It feels amazing. Good. Yes. It was supposed to get really hot. I feel like a chicken in a soup. I know, same. I feel like I'm in a broth. Tell me. Mmm. <laughs> you would say a broth. Mm hmm. Turkey broth. But yeah. You want to eat a cookie? Um. I'm dying to taste these cookies. Look how great these cookies are. Oh, this is dessert today. Chocolate. Double chocolate cookie. Double, mm. double chocolate chunk cookie. Mm, so good. 
They're from Ralph's. I'm pretty much done with Me this. Me too. I'm so full. I'm stuffed. You should see how much mess we made. Like how I much mess you made. No, bitch, you made. Mm -mm. Look at that. That is just not. Whose side is that? That's exactly. Egg. That's your and side. And then my side is two little clean ass noodles. <laughs> look like a dick. <laughs> Ew, um, inappropriate. We don't want to be demonetized. Um, we can uh, edit that. No, I don't want to edit. Okay. All right, so next are the cookies. <laughs> I'm so glad they're in a little baggie. They're oh my god. The sun kind of melted it. Oh my god. The water. Oh, wait. Yum. Oh my god, yum. Okay. Yum, I'm up. so glad this towel is here. <laughs> mm. Yummy. Mm. Mm -hmm. I'm so glad we brought two because I don't want to share. Mm. Yes, bitch. Uh. So what were you talking about earlier? Um, I was talking about, about careers and life goals. So we're waiting for the jacuzzi to warm up and I was telling her random thought but it kind of shocks me when I look at our government and see that they actually believe that we can live our lives or everybody's lives you know we can live our lives off of minimum wage mm -hmm. stupid it's it's impossible to live a life to you know pay rent to pay your phone to pay the internet to buy to pay for your food for your food your gas your car your insurance your medical all those things, and you think minimum wage is gonna support that and give you a, a stable life of, you know, secure income? Hell no, people have to do like two minimum wage jobs to at least equal that stability of just one great career mm -hmm. job, you know? It's so stupid. And I can't live like that, you know? I don't wanna be a woman that works a nine to five job, you know? Uh, who lives off of somebody else's schedule, you know, they, they schedule my time, you know, I have to revolve my, my life, my, you know, what I want to do in my life around my work time, like, no. I want my life to be my work. You know, I want to get paid for, you know, I want to get paid for living my life. That's what I want to do, you know, like, becoming a runway model and a, and a professional <laughs> dancer is everything. I'm, I'm gonna so drown her, you guys, and someone's gonna have to bail me out. I'll give you my address, and you guys wow. can get the bail money out. Why? <sighs> oh, Linda. That's better. <laughs> Still sun on there. Honey, your skin is glowing. Did you put on highlighter? No. Uh, this is my skin. That's a glam glow. No, it's not my skin. Bitch, don't try it. It's yeah, a glam, glam glow. Mm-hmm. The glam glam glow. The glam glam glow. The glam glam glow. Okay. But I'm really full. I'm this part. Ew. Uh, nasty. I'm gonna eat this cookie and then have a drink of soda in my I'm done, girl. Mm, I just can't. Mm. I don't know. Dating while trans is like so. It's so up and down. Like, there's some guys who really, really care about you and want you, but they're just simply not your type. And that goes for anybody. It doesn't matter, like, what they look like, but everybody has a preference. That's and I, I don't think you have to settle. But for some reason, people think that trans people have to settle because we're so limited to, like, who likes us. But I don't want to settle. I want to be happy every day. I want to only want that person. I don't want to have like cravings for something more. I want to know that I, I love where I am and I don't want to move away from this situation, you know? Right. I always want to be happy. And going back to like what I was saying about like, you know, dating as a trans person, you know, there's so many guys who want to use you as an experiment because they're trying to figure out their sexuality. Well, honey, let me break it up. Let me break it to you. I'm not someone that you can just come to and just think that you can like find out who you are by being with me and using my body as like your fucking like experiment experiment to like figure out your own sexual orientation. That's not me. It's never been me. 
I mean, I'm not gonna lie, like everyone's had their hookups before, you know, when you were drunk and you're like craving that dick, honey. But I'm not the one you can come to and just be like, oh, I'm trying to figure out my sexuality. So like, hey, can we hook up? I wanna see if I like it. Well, I already know you're gonna like it, first of all. There's no doubt about that, honey. <laughs> but I'm not the one, the two or the three, so don't try me. <laughs> okay, Dr. Seuss. <laughs> Y'all like that? Y'all like that? But oh I don't my know. God. I, I, right now, guys are just... It's like I want a relationship, but I'm not going to settle. I've settled too many times. <laughs> so you guys will see very soon on my on, like, on an upcoming video I'm going to be doing. And I broke up with Frankie. You know, she knows about that. Like, we broke up. It's so sad. No, no, many people. I'll link it down below. Yeah, not many people. I know. I'll link her channel down below so you guys can go to her channel and watch it. Yeah. It's just, well, I'll get more into detail as to what happened and when it happened and everything. But, mm -hmm. like, I just, like, I understand, like, I, dating yeah, guys right now. small, like a small little widget so that, don't finish it though, so it's like, oh, a teaser. And then they'll go to your channel later Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, let's see. Where do I begin? So, we live together and... His mother was very okay with us, but it's just the way things. Ah, my finger, bitch. <laughs> okay, go on. As, as, as the relationship grew stronger and we got closer and we felt more in love, he told her something. I'm not gonna say what, but he go told to her. Channel. Yeah, go to my channel. But he told her something in front of me that she didn't like. She took off the glasses. She's serious. She's about her business. I was uh, like, wait, uh, what? Uh, what did you say, bitch? Bitch? Oh, no, you did I was like, wait, I'm sorry. And she's like, it's, it's just not, it's just, I'm like, mm. I'm not going to tell you guys because it's just too juicy. But mm -hmm. she did certain things mm -hmm. that really were not okay with me. So if you guys want to know more about that story, what happened and what the whole tea was, trust me, for my video, I'm going to do... I'm gonna make some tea, I'm gonna sit down, and we're gonna literally spill the hot tea in our body. The tea is piping. Mm. So go to her channel and check it out. But I am so full. Me too, I need to like, I wanna sleep now. Like take a nap, I like a nap. nap. Yeah, same. I need to get on grinder. I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, but that has to get later over right, quickly. Uh, shut the fuck up, don't you try it? Try my bank. Don't no, you, you did it. Oh, okay, come but, on, Tina, turn to her. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I'm sorry I couldn't get the entire vlog for you guys. Dr. Sinclair said no for the pre-op, but he said yes for the actual surgery day. So you guys will be seeing that video. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love you guys all so much. You guys are my babies. You guys know that. For a fact, I love all of you with all of my butt. I would say my heart, but my butt is bigger by like 30 times. <laughs> um, you Shawty got Kate. Ain't gonna lie. Y'all saw that twerking in the beginning. Don't act like you didn't like it. Oh my God. But yeah. Um, yeah, overall, I'm really excited for surgery. Overall, how I feel, I feel scared because of one, the anesthesia, and two, the pain. I don't know what it's gonna be like. I've never been cut open. I've never had a surgery before. Um, I'm really anxious, which means like excited and nervous. So um, I think that's what's been like creating a lot of my anxiety. Also, you know, I've been dealing with a, de a recent death in the family. That will be a whole nother story time. Um, you guys will see that after this video sometime in the future. Not saying it's going to be the next video, but it will be sometime in the future. And, um, you know, Christine's been here with me, helping me stay you know, relaxed and, you know, leveled and things. Thank you, love. Gotcha, um, love you too. So, yeah, there's been a lot going on. We'll update you guys and like a life update slash get ready with me soon. So, um, yeah, I feel like that's an appropriate time. To, yeah, like, that's good. Know. That's really good. Like yeah. So, um, yeah, thank you guys all for joining us in this spaghetti um, and sausage slash beef and 
fudge cookie and sun kissed soda. Oh, perfect timing. Like, perfect the water timing. Well, All right. The water the, the the jacuzzi was like, okay, but just get out. <laughs> uh, but yeah, thank you so guys so guys. much. We both, we all love you. We both love all of you. Uh, yes, we do. Behind this camera we do. so much. All of your sweet comments um, mean the world to me. I really try my best to respond to all of you guys. Make sure to follow all of my social media and all of Christine's social media as well. It will be linked down in the description box. Make sure to hit that notification bell. Yeah, I will see you guys later. I love you all so much. Have a good night or a day, wherever you are in the world. And I'll see you in my next video. Mwah.